Hey everyone, Flare Acres here with another Skylanders review. This time I'll be looking at the uh, Wind Giant Swarm, or the Air Giant, I should say. And this guy is pretty cool. He's a giant bee or wasp. Ah, uh, and he's really got to be one of my favorite giants at the moment actually if I was going to be doing some PvPing he would be the giant I'd be using so let's get in and have a look at him this is on his barb path so he'll be using a lot of melee attacks but I've also found that he's also really good at long range as well or medium range um, so that's kind of why I'd be using him in a PvP match because he can basically switch up between the two where necessary. Whereas on the swarm path, he's basically most powerful at um, short range, and that's limiting him. Okay, well the first part is uh, his first attack is his barb blades. Press A to slash at the enemies. Um, next is the flight of the wasp. Press X to hover in the air. And while flying, press A to shoot the barbs, giving him a medium-ish range attack. So he's got both close and medium to long range attacks. Um, sharpened barbs, barb attack. Barb melee attacks do increased damage. Winging it, you can fly faster and longer, keeping allowing you to actually, if you're going for a um, ranged uh, offensive, allowing you to keep that up for longer. Uh, swarm form, press B to turn into a swarm of bugs damaging everything they touch. So that's basically only close range, which is why I don't like it. Against long range attackers like uh, Chill or um, Bouncer, Trigger Happy, it mightn't be too bad. But against close ranges, I'm not quite sure if you can take damage. I'm probably saying you will if they hit you, so yeah, it's not overly great. Slinging, slinger shot. Hold A to charge up this like cross beam attack, which does massive damage. I think it's about 50. So it's quite a good move but takes too long to charge. Uh, and as I said, the path that I chose was the barb path, so increasing his barb capabilities instead of the swarm path, which increases close range bugs. Okay, the razor wing add little barbs onto the onto your razors so if anything tries to hit you from behind they're also going to get hit as well um, and another thing you can do is you can basically simulate the sw um, swarm swarm form effect with this and just basically um, spin around your opponent and just keep slashing them with your wings. Only does about 9 damage, but that's about what the swarm form does as well. Uh, better bar blast. Bar blast shots uh, while flying do increased damage, allowing you to do more damage while you're actually doing long ranged attacks and ultimate barbs or barb attacks do maximum damage 
So that's not just your normal melee slashing, that's also your uh, flying as well. So you're going to do maximum damage with everything you do, medium and long range. And his soul gem, the B is for the butt stinger. While flying, press your B button to launch a little missile out of your ass. It's really only good for if anything's behind you. It doesn't swerve around, unfortunately. It tracks sort of from behind, but it won't track anything in front of you. Um, so a good combination with those two is the wings, slashing them with the wings, but also launching that off at them as well. But I prefer to keep face forward and slash into them or use my medium range. Okay, let's get in and show you how it works. Okay, here, here we go. Here's these like, little barb attacks. And he, he does that massive combo. So doing about 29 damage per hit, that's not too bad. Um, and there's the swarm form. Only doing about 7, might do a bit more when he's powered up. And, and there's his little slashing. As, as, it's, as I said, you can basically um, mimic the swarm form with that. <laughs> and let's get a bit of speed up. One thing I really like with him is, which is also going to be a um, PvP bonus, is unlike every other ranged character in this game Swarm can strafe for those of you who don't know what strafing is strafing is to move from side to side while still facing one direction so you can lay into your opponents while moving around so it's harder for them to hit you I'll give an example of that coming up Snipers out of the way because they annoy me. Okay. okay, now he's gone. Let's take down these zombies really easily. You want to land every few seconds just to so you're not forced to land when you don't want to. Land on your own terms, not land on when the computer says. And you saw how quickly I took those down without taking any bit of damage. Anyone who's actually got up to this point in the game knows how difficult those zombies are. Um, and well, I really better show you the butt stinger. There. Yeah. But, oh, I'm not really going to be able to find anyone to hit with that, so. No. Oh, that's. Um. Swarm. Leave any comments you like in the bottom boxes below, and I'll see you all for my next review.